comes the drone. Let's hope it sees what I see. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Voices of the Void. As always, I am taking all your advice, and I have so many things I want to try. If I can help it, this is going to be a really packed part. But the first thing is, I'm going to have to make sure that I've battened down the hatches. A lot of crazy things happened last time. We discovered that there's all manner of things taking up residence in the caves underneath this park. And Melvin and his boys showed up back in force. I'm actually kind of locked in here right now. Those mannequins are just kind of sniffing around all over the base. I don't know how many of them are alive or what they intend to do with me. But right now... Oh, there's one right there. God, that is so creepy. I'm going to have to turn the tables on them however I can, partially using prior knowledge. But first let's have a look at some of our cameras, because uh, there's some real weird stuff going on, presumably related to timing, in the cave, and yeah, that is open. No nest means something is active. Some of you requested that I take a little camping trip to maybe see what it gets up to at night. Uh, that'll be over by the uh, by the Trash Kingdom Transformer. We can use our we can use our infrared to see what's going on around the base, although I don't see anything right now. And you said that in camera one, I actually captured a moving tree in the last part. Yeah, I, I got a little bit paranoid about those things, and you say that one was in plain sight at a time, and I didn't see it. I've watched that clip over and over again. I still can't see what you were talking about. I mean, I, I see these branches moving overhead, but other than that, I don't know. The base no longer feels nearly as safe as it once did. But make no mistake, we are actually going to start being much, much more proactive now. We've got a lot of the major upgrades that we needed, and now we can kind of start spending on ourselves. That's going to mean more upgrades to the base, more decorations, and the return of a fan favorite, hopefully in this episode. Now we've got this set up, I am going to get some sleep and just really have faith that all of this is going to hold up, that the locked doors will actually do something. Oh, we've got this bug again. Oh, it is so dark. I mean, yeah, I'm not doing the candle thing right now, I just really, really need my shut-eye. And I'm just too paranoid. There's so many openings in this space that we can't lock. The upstairs doorway, the opening in the ATV bay. It makes me feel so vulnerable. I think, yeah, it's starting to drizzle just a bit. Don't leave me out here. I mean, I, I compared this to Tremors in the last part, and that's really what it's starting to feel like. I feel like I'm so trapped and isolated here. I can't send emails out. I can't step out without exposing myself to... Oh no, I left this open. The garage door is closed, but... I'm locking what I can, where I can. I don't know if you guys show up as radar contacts, but there is certainly something out there. I hope... I hope that's my cave camera, but I honestly wouldn't even know how to read this. One thing that could actually help us a lot... You're being disrupted by the storm, but you're 100% downloaded. One thing that could help us a lot is getting one of those digital maps. I actually didn't find it too useful in the last part, but it is useful for chasing down specific coordinates. Ooh. Lightning. <laughs> it's always a surprise for me for some reason. Let's put you to shuffle. I always forget to do that and just move you straight to the end. Right now I'm just waiting for morning. Okay, nobody in our garage bay right now, which is a good thing, because if they could get in here, they probably would, right? Oh, look at that. Seeing the blinking lights in our tower in the dark. Uh, I think we're going to, because our inventory is always so full, let's drop these rubber balls. We can recycle them later. This is finished, so let's give you a listen.
These are like mic taps. And it seems like something got a little bit more curious right at the end there. Ooh. We've got a lot of these things to go through, so you, Red Giant, can start being processed up. And we'll take another of you for this. Now that's a movie I'd watch. I mean, if they did an entire episode that was just that, but man, this episode was like probably one of my earliest experiences with Creepy and Comfy. I mean, this one pertains to, like, everyone thinking that uh, Blue is a ghost because he turns white when he's sick. And just look at the color palette of it. The way it takes place in the rain. In the same house that we've always, like, had episodes take place in. But instead the lights are all out. Everything's like a dark blue glow from the TV. And everybody just being freaked out and tiptoeing around each other. There's no real stakes, and we, as the viewers, know that, but it still reminds us of what it's like to be, like, reading scary stories with our siblings, like, late into the night, you know? And that's why I chose it to be on this TV. I figured it was perfect vibes. There's just that brief moment every time where it illuminates the whole field in front of us. Really the entire park at once, just for a second at a time. And it gets me every single time. Where are you guys at now? And you're no longer there. Still gotta retrieve those boards so I can recycle them. In fact, there's kind of a lot of things I need. And of course, because this is all during a storm, these scans are gonna be really off. We need to sleep some more, but I don't know. I just can't help but be productive. Uh, Alright, let's listen to this. Very consistent signal from that direction. But that should be... Like, we should already be there in terms of the signals we need to send out. We need Romeo Sierra Golf, and that's where that's where I really have to look. So... Uh, Romeo Sierra, and then Golf is all the way down here. This part made me laugh so hard. Which is funny because, in retrospect, this scene actually creeps me out a lot. He hallucinates this badly in the mirror. And then as soon as that colorful, musical hallucination ends, it just pulls out to him standing alone and silent in that dark bathroom. Oh, hey, the download is done, so it doesn't matter if this thing goes away. Okay, let's get our shut-eye. And later, if I have excess money, I'll order more coffee. Man, the way this whole thing just gets bathed in this fog, like even the indoors, you never really feel safe. It's almost 7 a.m. We can't even tell. The storm still ongoing, but hey, at least we can see now. And we can see that the siege has not been broken. This balcony really does add something in that regard, doesn't it? When you feel trapped inside... It's like they're all out there just watching us, waiting for us to make a move. Tell you what, I am going to strike first. I am going to make a move on them before I leave today. But they are not the only things out here, are they? Let's just uh, grab their corpses and bring them in. I think this was a box, actually, but you get the idea. It's going to be a while before we can get the equipment that really turns the tables, but I actually need capture a live captive, and because of their apparent unwillingness to do anything while observed, well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Also, I did notice this in editing. We have been tagged. We have been tagged by some very familiar and very feline-looking individuals. Oh, I accidentally bonked your head on the door. Sorry! Actually, it may be best to wait for the rain to stop before we try this. <laughs> but I am going to utilize a little bit of knowledge from a previous season to try and learn what our prisoner knows. Now, the important thing is that we don't let you out of our sight and that we do this in a safe place. 
So we'll attach you to there, and then grab you, and hang you. Oh no! Moving you didn't... Ah. Uh. Ow. Hang on. Let's see if we can do this a better way. I saw what you did. So what we're going to do is stand on the roof here, move you as close to the edge as we can, be very ready, nine, nine will be the crowbar, and... No, arm is busy, arm is busy, arm is busy, no, 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 okay, this did not go according to plan. Come on, where are you? Down here. Ah, that's your weakness! I could have just exploited that. You can't move down this way. Right, well, what if I smack you? Smack you a whole bunch of times until you just go away. Boom. I... I really don't know how to make of what just happened, but... it did. It did and the proof is gone. All right, but we, we did learn they are not capable of dropping down. They can probably use stairs, I would assume. I was really hoping to just toss them right off the roof, but... Well, at least we can get our scrap... and get on out of here. That's... possibly one less, but... they kind of tend to keep showing back up when you least expect them. In any case, this thing is at 100 thanks to our new solar power ability. And we can head out towards Romeo. I'm thinking that we are going to have so much time for exploring today. And I definitely want to capitalize on that. But before we do that, I do want to head back to base. Because, look, the reason I didn't do this right away is because I wanted to try dangling that mannequin off the balcony. And I figured I could have a flaming little pinata friend as a warning to the others. But since that didn't seem to work out, I have no reason not to take your latest bit of advice. Oh, hello, have we another fairy ring? We have. He told me that these white ones actually restore a good amount of hunger, but that there's also a chance for something else to happen. Dr. Kell is nothing if not a man of science. Well, they explode into wood, so that's a thing. Um. Um. I can't collect it, though. What if I pick it up? Oh, wait, what is this? Ow! Like, three of those things are inside me right now. Uh... And I can't take these with me? Why not? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, well I'm definitely gonna have to keep these things in mind for later. There was one of these in my fridge for like a week. Alrighty then, I'll keep those in mind. That is very, very good to know. Oh my god, I've been prancing about all over them. Looks like Victor is down. Which is an excellent opportunity to head back that way and explore after we return to base and send out our stuff for the day. I want to get that done as early as possible. But yeah, there are seriously like entire corners of the base that we just haven't really explored yet. Now arriving back here, what you had told me is that I should try taking my hook my hook, which I currently do not have. That's probably still on the roof. Hang on. Place this on the workbench and... Half hook. Uh, what, what is a... What is a half hook? Oh! Huh. Seems to work exactly the same way. Maybe... Maybe it can't connect two things? Hmm, all right. Wait, can we... I, I know they're a different item, but what's the difference? 
Hooks with a rope used to hook two objects. What's the difference? In any case, you guys are ready to be sent out. I'm going to have to order a whole ton of new necessities. We are actually running a little bit on the low side when it comes to drives and such. But I think we've already sent out enough extra that we're going to get, like, extra good boy points uh, this week. Oh, there we go. And we've gotten a whole bunch of points. Package received. I don't like this. It's quite scary and unnerving. I'll send it to Enna. She'll analyze it further. Yeah, I know you guys will take this exactly as seriously as you should, right? Uh, but we actually have kind of the keys to the city at this point. We have enough for that thing I really, really want. But that's going to wait until a little bit later. We have one completely finished. And I'm going to queue one more up, but then we really have to go... Oh, you're going to do that? Okay. Screw it, I'm just going to leave then. Ah, uh, I see you trying to sneak in. No, no, no. I mean, there's nothing much I can do about you for the time being, but at least you can't open that locked door. We have to head over to Victor, which is currently down, and I'm going to use this opportunity to see what's in that side of the woods. Victor is now fixed. It's probably about time for an SD Callal. And now we've got the run of the place, at least until complete sundown. Sun up and sunset. Those are the two those are kind of the two big things around here. They kind of function respectively as your reward and your warning. Oh, that is a whole lot of rocks. We cannot go this way. But I'm not heading in any particular direction. Thanks to solar power, we're still at 90%, even after traversing the whole park, and I just want to see what's out here. I want to be moving in the opposite direction of the base and just going as far as we can. Oh my, look at that. Fence is right here, but look, one single lone tree up on that mountain over there. I wonder if it means anything. Yeah, it's always along these edges where you want to look for stuff. Along edges, in valleys, getting up high on mountaintops so that we can see all around us. But the game's not always going to guide us there. We won't know until we look. And thanks to the previous season and your guys' help, I already know that this is what we do with those strange tiles we found. Or I don't remember if we found one or two of those things. I think one might have been on top of our base. But in any case, they go in there. Oh, I believe nine in total. Wait, there's a note there. Was that there before? Hang on. We need to go... Yep. Probably nine in total, and as we find them, we need to bring them back here. Oh, that is going to be an ongoing thing. But nothing on the paper. Oh, look at the sun setting over there. Before, it went to day 47 as far as events go, or maybe 49, I'm not sure. By the way, it's probably even more than that now. Oh, hello, it's this thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure you also come with a burger. Yep. Uh, this thing has been in the game since time immemorial, so I'm not really sure what it is or what it does. But it's just another of this park's mysteries. Let's just photograph it. Now, to me, it sort of looks like a booster stage, doesn't it? Because this looks to me like rocket nozzles, and maybe it would detach from, like, the lower part of some kind of spacecraft. Look at that. The sky is, like, blood red right now. That is so freaky. Uh, but wait, if this thing is here, then if memory serves... 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that hurt. Uh, it is actually possible. Look, this donut here will teleport us back to base, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to lose our ATV. This right here. Does it look familiar? If not, I'll show you when we get back. Uh, but now we are going to use something we didn't have the last time I did this. Use our hooks to escape. Yep. Yeah, I can't really see a functional difference. I'm sure there is something. But yeah, we had the Argemia plush. And, well, it actually just calls it an unknown doll. No description, but here it is. We were never meant to be able to get it, but we've got it now. And I like to think of it as an investment. For an example of how different things are going in this series... Hello. Oh, I think that might just be water. I, I was like, what are those lights? I think it's just the red sun reflecting off of the, uh, the river's end. That was really freaky for a second. I was like, there were multiple red lights moving down there. You know, I, I learned... I don't know if it's true or not. I learned this from reading Red Storm Rising years ago. That the best time, if you want to move stealthily in an environment, is actually right here at dusk. Because even better than moving in the total darkness, at this time when the sky is like this, your eyes can't adjust to the darkness of the terrain. I'll tell you one thing, it certainly feels that way, but... Now would actually be a decent opportunity to test another piece of advice you guys gave me. One of you told me, uh, when it comes to the dock that we discovered a part or two ago, the one at the edge of the water where we found uh, my favorite Easter egg, that I should stand there at night and look around, that I might see something. Look at this. Just look at this image here. I've got to try and get this on camera. Look, we can see our tower over there, the stars crossing above us, and all these silent giants just watching the sky for anything that might get their attention, and conveniently ignoring me down here. Actually, I just went back and reread the comment, and you didn't say the dock, you said the bridge closest to the lake. I don't know, stopping on a bridge in the middle of the night, turning off our headlights, it actually feels like the setup to one of those urban legends, doesn't it? This, this may not count as night, I may have to come back later, which I'm more than willing to do. Oh no, oh! Okay, note to self, those things are not solid. Yeah, I'll come back later, but I, I love this, I live for this stuff. It feels like I'm playing GTA 4 San Andreas and investigating Bigfoot, you know? Oh no, god, it's one of those things. I don't want to run it over. Hang on. I hear stuff all around me, and I just saw a splash in the water down below. I swear I did. I don't see anything there now. Do I still hear anything? I don't think so. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. We have a new drive to listen to. That's an image coming through. An image and maybe text. Wait. Come here. Where's here? That's pretty friggin' vague. I mean, uh, look, those just look like tears and shapes, but I have to say, I'm getting some pretty intense pareidolia. Oh my god, you see it, right? 
How's our cameras doing? You have already left. Yeah, that's no good. Um, what about everything else? This... Still here. Fairy ring's still there. I'm probably gonna end up taking the camera off this one, because I don't really feel like I need it anymore. And you said that the battery draining on this was just a visual bug. Oh, you would. I'm gonna order drive, some coffee, some drive box, because we might as well stock up. That'll be 100 points. We're still in the green as far as stuff we need. And I'll just allow you to uh, be in suspense for the main thing I want for a little bit longer until tomorrow morning. But as for this, what I really want is to see if our thing actually comes in. Do you stop this thing? from being able to transmit our location. And more importantly, can you move when observed by the cameras? That's another thing we need to know. I'm also not quite sure what that red light is down there and to the left. Hang on, what is that? Let's zoom in as far as we possibly can and try and acquire that. What is that? Oh! Well, we just got a drone jump scare. There's something down there. Archimia Plush, you are gonna go on the opposite side from Artalter. And the family continues to grow. I don't know what type of trash this counts as. Maybe plastic? We'll worry about it a little bit later. Uh... Oh, wait! WAIT! It's midnight, and the sky is still red. That's not a normal sunset. What is going... I don't think we should be stepping back outside again anytime soon. Are you not seeing this? Two signals, level three, Oscar, Bravo, Charlie. That stuff's all really easy. That's all walking distance, but... How long is this gonna last? Hang on, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get upstairs. Oh, but first, assuming this will last, we need to get rid of you. We can probably recycle this somehow and make ourselves another cup because I think we're going to be at this for a little while. That is so unnerving. Yet another picture that I'm not sure will mean anything to anyone. I don't know. I don't feel safe in my place anymore. I was starting to feel like the king of the castle, and now I just don't. I guess we'll start loading these things up. Menial work is about the only thing I can do when I button up for the night. Got another unknown to process up, and... Man, I just do not know what to do about this. I think our little bridge trip looking for the troll is gonna have to wait until a little later. I say troll because it's at a bridge. I actually have no idea what it is I'm supposed to be looking for. It's the, it's the fun of looking for things balanced with the fear of actually sometimes finding them. And all the while having no idea what's actually real. I have no idea what type you'll recycle into. I'm hoping that this canned food we found underground will count as metal. It doesn't seem to, though, so I guess we just kind of have to <laughs> try it at some point. You could actually, on top of everything, start a mukbang channel in this game. Oh, but uh, that's another thing. Speaking of sources of income, you guys actually told me that the purpose of the GPUs is that if we get enough startup cash, we can actually, I'm not kidding, start our own crypto mining rig. This game is absolutely nuts, I tell you what. Oh, look at this. Just look at this. Of course, the telescope doesn't have anything to say about any of this. Why would it, right? 
Just no acknowledgement whatsoever. We can actually see the stars through the red. That's... I don't even know what to say. I wonder when this will go away. Oh, who am I kidding? I, I need to stay up through all of this. It's it's already 2.30 in the morning. I wonder if something will happen at 3.33. Meantime, we do have another signal that we can listen to. How hostile. Thank you for contributing. Still like that. Uh, if anything, it only looks like it's getting darker. Like, that's the thing. It's so unnatural that it's scary in such an unspecific way. I have no idea how a red sky hurts me. I just feel that it does. Cameras, how are we doing? Nobody in here. Uh, up here. Nothing. You're still here. But I don't see that red light anymore. Hopefully it was just a little spot of reflection off of the lake. Because like I said, nothing showed up on thermals. Huh? It seems that our camera actually captured this in all its glory. Look at that. Oh, with that color palette, what am I, playing Signalis again? Alright, look. As bad of an idea as this feels like, it is not lost on me that this is going to be our only chance probably to see this. Look at this. And so I'm going to choose to do our signals or our satellites right now. I mean, hey, on the one hand, it's the most light we're going to have, right? What is all- wait, what is all this stuff? Core activate, reactor disable, system reactor- somebody's trying to mess with, like, reactor settings. Uh, I don't- I don't know what to make of this. Somebody tried to access this. I've got a couple of servers down back there. I don't have time for that right now. Something is really weird. Was somebody in the base or at least at one of the towers? This is just... It, it's so unnatural. It's like four in the morning right now. And it's not just how crazy it is that the sky is behaving this way. It's the simple fact that it's like night never really came for me. There's the closest bridge. And some mushrooms growing over there. Is there anything out there? Besides our tower scaring the bejesus out of me, we can somehow still see its red amongst the other red. But I don't quite see anything. I don't even know where I'm meant to look. Maybe if we climb on top? I've really got no idea. But I also can't wait around too much. Maybe I'll be back on an actual night. Man, I honestly love doing this. I, I love having the not knowing if something will be there. I mean, you guys could easily just be screwing with me, but that that's the way these things go, right? You know what my number one concern is right now? It's five, maybe six in the morning, and I still am not seeing daylight. We should be starting to by now. Actually, I just need the hash code. Like, you know, this is scary all its own, but I'm also, I'm also getting the thought in my head, as unlikely as it may be, 
what if this just doesn't stop? I'm honestly anxious to see what time it is. And also, I haven't seen one of those mannequins in a while, except for the one up there. 6.42. Nearly 7 a.m. I feel like... I feel like we should have something by now. Okay, we only need two of these things to send out today. We've got three of these to process up. That should get us more good boy points. Oh, and you're finished. And I think maybe I'm detecting just the slightest change in the complexion of the sky. So that would be <laughs> good news. Tell you what, I'm going to do what I always do in these situations. I'm going to go to bed and I'm just going to cross my fingers that in the morning when I wake up, everything will be all right. It's a strategy that works all the time, most of the time. And, huh. It would seem that the morning rain washes away our troubles and brings back with it a normal sun. 9am, decent time to rise. And I guess we just write it off as another one of those things that certainly happened. Although certainly happened will be a matter for some debate if nobody else backs us up on that. We have so much scrap to be sent out, and I think we will soon. We've also got to do some more metal detecting because uh, that could be a decent source of income. But, you know what? I've been teasing it all episode long. And with our stuff about to go out, I think you've waited long enough. Tower Man is still standing watch. And we are going to go to the store and order our favorite of all... Kerfus. Yeah, those of you who watched the first season knew this was coming sooner or later, and we are not done with this whole line of uh, purchasing but that'll require a bit more of an investment later on. In the meantime, I've been on my own for long enough. With all this stuff going on, we really need some help around here, and, well, I need somebody to give me some comfort during these horrible sleepovers. Sleepovers with myself, which really just means hiding in style. Oh no, you're gonna make me get up there. Uh. You know, I'd kind of gotten used to that mannequin as an ornament. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm keeping these crates around literally just so I can use them as barricades should the need arise. And I can actually think of a plethora of reasons why the need would arise. There is one particular plushie that I do aim to get at some point. Hey, uh, I don't usually have to do this job, but you can't be here. Yep, yep. You've moved out of frame, which means you have outlived your usefulness to me. Later, Tater. Oh my god, I didn't realize you could crouch through the bars. <laughs> yep, down river with you. I should have attached the camera to him. I should attach a camera to one of them. I, I don't know if that'll work, but that could be something for later. Bye. Okay, plenty, plenty to do today since the world didn't end as anticipated, which has been the reason why I've showed up for work more times than I care to admit. Look at you trying to stand up and pull yourself out. No, 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 no. You're in far too bad a state. Once again reminding me that this is, in fact, a siege. Uh, we need all of the appropriate trash we can find. I am going to be sending for more of this stuff as soon as possible. Plastic is real good. What is this? What is this? Why is there a level 2 drive out here? When and how did this happen? Hang on. Okay, open that. Nope, don't, don't lose a level. I'm told they can lose a level if they take damage. It's an... It's unnamed. 
Hang on, we've gotta we've gotta give this a listen. Oh my god! Well, that scattered everything everywhere. What was that about? Oh, look at all this stuff. Did it? What did it? Oh god! Did it break stuff? I hope not. Are you guys all okay? You're all okay. What just happened to me? So often in this series, I find myself just left utterly bewildered. This is certainly one of those times. Alright, open you up. How are you doing? You're finished? Good. It was just unnamed. Okay, all the level 2s are going out, and two level 3s. I think this one did actually lose a level, so we'll wait to send you out. This one's empty. Oh no, actually probably not. Okay, so we'll stop that one before it finishes. Stop, terminate. We don't want you doing that. Well, this is ready to be sent out, but something else has been sent in. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's happening. Okay, let's uh, leave you in the corner for now. Uh, we've just got to... Oh, there's some rubber stuck in the wall. we just got to send this out and all shall be good in thine hood. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. All right, you come with us. Uh, oh, that's, that's the vent cover that fell from in the main room. I I'm always really worried to see these things on the ground. Kerfess! Let's get you started on your feet, shall we? Do you guys believe this? This is a thing in the game. These things are real in real life. I love them. I love them so much. Look, we can pat them. They like it. And we can even use them to go fix servers. Uh, I'm not going to use them for that because we pretty much got it under control. And actually, they can be fairly competent at it, but I just don't want to, like, I don't want to risk it for now. In the meantime, your main duty is to be our little companion. They do drain energy, so they have to be plugged in once in a while, too. We don't want that happening while they're away. <laughs> and now we just got, like, a playful little guy. That is so... Mm, I love this game. It's like when you buy the monkey butler in The Sims, you know? Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, whoa, getting a little overexcited there. Uh, maybe you don't want the bow tie, or maybe you just really want the bow tie. I don't know. Hang on. Uh, let's drag this up and over. Uh, please try not to knock it over again. Now, can we... Yep. No. Uh, maybe try holding. And... Yep. I can't figure out how to pin this on you. All right. Let's put you here and... Will that attach? Will that attach? All right, well, ugh, look at that. We've got a red planet, mostly covered in ice, it looks like. All right, we've got we to set all this stuff. Man, I'm so distracted from doing the actual job part of the job these days. There's just so much happening around. Oh, actually, Kerfus, now that you're here... Oh, Gaussian field theory? This is incredible. This data helps explain so much about deep space field theory. We don't even know where to begin. There are flux patterns like we've never seen. And you can actually hear the shapes interacting. At least, that's what we think we're hearing. Nice job, keep them coming. Uh, I feel like we didn't get quite as much as we maybe should have. I mean, I put a lot in that box. But I'm certainly not complaining. Kerfus, while you're here, I may actually have the confidence to go check out that basement once more. Come on, I, there is actually something I have not forgotten about, but I just haven't had the opportunity to check out again in like two episodes. You can follow me down the stairs, right? Yep. If we move back this... Oh my god. You've been here a while, but you didn't die of any starvation. Something really bad happened to you. Right down here where we're standing. It's like you tried to hide, or else that somebody tried to hide you. What about through here? Kervis, can you fit? You can! You can slide Limbo right under there. 
Okay, so I guess we don't need to move it for now. Oh, there's so much trash for us to sell. We're gonna be grouches together. You know, the base certainly does feel livelier with you around, but I'm worried. Are you gonna scatter all this stuff to the wind? Oh, you seem to be doing good for now. Never mind. Never mind. You are absolutely laying waste to our trash heap. Uh, you're eager, I'll give you that. Will you just look at all this stuff we have for sale? It's truly insane. Now, let's clear out some space in our inventory so that we actually have time. I don't. I have no idea how to apply this. Maybe it only works for... Uh, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We have got so much trash for sale. The rest just couldn't fit. Alice Brady would be proud. Well, let's get ourselves even more money. Come on, purpose. Let's go enjoy a nice cup of joe. Use and hold and um, num. Delicious stuff. Totally worth the money. I mean, it might be expensive, but you can use it ten times, and it really helps during those times where you just need an extra little boost, you know? It comes out to being well, well worth it. Still something over there, and now something in that little corner that way. The sun is setting, but there was another piece of advice that you guys had given me. You ready for your first little <laughs> field trip, Kerfus? Oh, look, you've got friends out here. See, they're writing to you. If only you knew the truth. Uh, nothing in the mailbox. Still gotta check that occasionally. You don't talk to me or my son ever again. Actually, is Kerbis a boy or a girl? Eh, you decide. Uh, use this. Maybe we can try and grab the key card, but actually I don't see... Ooh, I do see the key card. I don't know if we can make that angle, though. No, I don't think that's gonna work. I do not think that's gonna work. Oh, perhaps though, that was pretty close. Eh, it's at just the wrong angle. Oh, I got it. I did get it. I did get it. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, you had to be in just the right spot. Alpha hideout. Hang on. Come on, Kerfus. We're going on an adventure. Uh, you picked an exciting first day to join me. We're in. And we saved 200 bucks on our uh, password changer. Never mind, it doesn't work right here. Hmm. But why not? What do we do now? D do we actually need the password changer for this? No, you don't. No, you do not. That is not allowed. Get out of here. You're going to be right back, aren't you? Um, always got to try it. That used to be the case. Oh, you have a little bit of a bounce, but you can't make it up. Oh, yeah, in the last series, you ended up staring at me quite ominously from down below. Come on, you. We are going inside. Yeah, haha. -ha. Tried to do a sick jump over the roof of this thing. I'm the only one that does sick jumps around here. <gasps> We can use Kerfus to open doors for us, I think. Hang on, let's test that. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, that is so cool. I don't know if that was possible before, but it's certainly possible now. Wait, if you're just following us... Wait, are you stuck? You're stuck. This is why I don't send you on missions. But if you just follow us... You can! We never have to press the E key again. Well, that might be hyperbole, but you get the idea. And this has finished. All right, now I'll warn you, Kerfus. Things get a little bit spooky around here at night. 
So, as long as you stay by my side, look, we've got some nice children's programming for you to watch. Well, that's kind of neat. Oh, and we've got another unknown right there, ready to go. Someone's letting all the air out of space. Hmm, seems like this is going to be kind of a hazy sort of night. And those eyes on the screen are certainly what I feel every time I look out there. And perhaps with good reason. Let's have a look at our email. Yep, we got... Only 61 points? I feel like we've gotten more than that for, like, huge numbers of garbage bags. That was a lot of stuff we sent out. But we have plenty of money to spend now. Maybe we should have a look at our cameras. You guys also had another piece of advice as well, actually. There's Corpus doing stuff down there. If we- oh god, it's a whole gaggle of them. Uh, if we come down here, right, ow, and place this on one of these posts, we will be able to see what time it is during the night. There we go. And uh, I guess let the mannequins know that we're on top of things, you know, keeping track of the time and all. There we go, there's their Abbey Road. No, these are Kerfus, 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 now's not the time, there are some strange men at the door. We don't have time for this right now. We we need to be watching those cameras like a hawk. I don't like the sound of knocking. Metallic knocking in the middle of the night. I hope that was you. Carvis, I enjoy your company, but I really don't appreciate you scaring me like that. In the meantime, let's queue up another of these, I guess. Oh, these things are just appearing all over tonight, aren't they? I haven't even upgraded these in a while. Maybe we should use this moment to mix- oh, we missed it. It's around 7 every night. Probably about 7.15, probably happened while I was doing all that. Alright, well let's, uh, let's update our detector quality all the way. It is now at max, so whatever we see, we'll see it entirely. Oh right, the Transformers! I haven't checked them in forever! I might have to go out! Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Eh, okay, they're still doing fine for now. They can wait until morning. It's a good thing we upgraded them the way we did. In fact, let's, uh, let's throw another upgrade onto the pile. Kerfus, would you like some attention? Oh, you are bouncing off the walls. You are so energetic. You know, you always did remind me of Liberty and Percy. But that's a story for another life. Now, what I'm thinking is that from here on out, all of our income is effectively disposable income. And what that means to me is that we should start working on our base cozification project. So we're gonna need an area for Kerfus. We're gonna need we're gonna need some rugs to make this place look really nice. A bare concrete floor is no good after all. And what else? What else do we need? Probably some more glow sticks. And I'm thinking, let's get ourselves a coffee table, because we, we need we need places to congregate, right? We need places that are like common areas. Uh, we should probably get ourselves, not posters, but actual, actual pictures. I don't know if this comes preloaded with things, but I'm sure we can get some. Oh my, that's 200 right there. We'll, we'll, we'll get that to start. And... <laughs> what the heck. Another pizza. Frankie, you actually scared the bejesus out of me just now. I was just kind of trying to work on this stuff and you just shriek right in my ear. Let's so grab you, uh, put you in here. I really want to get at that unknown. 
And <laughs> there's our furniture coming in. Uh, such an onomatopoeia trying to distract us from our dealings. When we actually know where the signal is coming from, it's actually kind of a relief. I mean, I say that. Oh my god, it's them. I had no idea they were part of this clip. What a weird way of comparing where my life was at one point and where it is now. Excuse me. I'm trying to reminisce. I don't care if you are a mind-blowing discovery in the depths of space. It's like something was building, rumbling, and then just stopped abruptly. Replaced with nothing but noise. Uh, we could start decorating. What are you at? Come on. You can slow down 53%. Yeah, it's almost time for you to go to bed. And let's make sure that there's a place for you to do it. Shouldn't we have a couple of rugs here? I'm fairly certain I paid for such things. That's okay, hang on, Kerfus. I'm gonna I'm gonna power you down for now. Why did that happen? Why 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 is that the case? That is so adorable the way you just flop over. Come to think of it, we didn't get our pizza either. Here comes the drone, but that's probably the midnight drone. That doesn't really help me. I really hope it's going to bring that stuff, but I don't think it's going to. Hey, you. Nope. I'll try again later when you collect the box. Yeah, nope. It's just the midnight stuff. My, my stuff is not here. Let's see. Oh, yep, that did work. We can see our little clock down there. That is a great way of getting stuff done. And now we're quite a bit... Higher. Okay, I think it was just fireflies. I thought I saw a pair of glowing eyes in the dark there. Actually, come to think of it, I should... This isn't going to be the case, but maybe I should try climbing on top of the garage bay to see if anything got left behind. Always nerve-wracking to come outside of the base at night. It is up here! Well, or at least the pizza is. They- Oh my god, what?! Walter White's been here, are you kidding me?! Okay, well, I'm glad we- I'm glad we have it. These carpets are so gonna clash. We can get our own skins, but not with these. Uh, I'm a little bit warier about just dropping this, it might break. That's all good. Oh, that looks into my bedroom. Well, that's an angle I don't like looking at. Cheeseburger! Cheeseburger. 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 Thank you. There's a vent cover here, too. You know, maybe it's just me, but these look just a bit like cat ears, don't they? Maybe I've got cats on the brain now. Now, if I remember correctly, the orientation of these decorations is based on you when you press use. So if we go like that, yeah, it's a little bit uh, off center, but we're never gonna get it exactly right. We just gotta adjust accordingly. There we go, that's a little better. And I'm thinking, hmm, where where's a corner? Right here would probably be the best bet for a sitting area, right? There we go. I mean, we'll, we'll change it a bit, but yeah.
at a certain point, this game does just become The Sims, but I think we can make this really, really nice. Uh, now, as for yield coffee table, yep. we'll wake you up soon, Kerfus. I just put him to sleep to charge. Actually, did I set you to charge? Now would be a good time to find out. I did not. There we are. And you just sleep well, little buddy. And wait to get ourselves some, like, couches or something. I didn't see them in the store just now, but I know we can get them. And we'll also probably want to throw down, like, some pillows or something if we can find them, right? Some mood lighting, all kinds of things we need. But this unknown is ready. <laughs> Let's turn off the lights and give it a listen. Uh, this is the one that we seem to get all the time, actually. Alright, but there is an object there. Looks to be some sort of satellite. Uh, and it's done. Somehow when it finishes, we can see even less. Maybe that's just resolving it from something that we may know to something that we absolutely do not know. I'm kind of making the promise to myself that we're going to end this episode when we get our good boy points, which should be on day 21. At least I'm hoping we do, uh, which we should because we have plenty of excess drives. But if we have a look at some of these cameras, save ever no. Why save ever no? Why? Hang on. Uh, this is going to be one of those... This is going to be one of those moments. Oh, wow. I hadn't even realized that. It, how did that happen? This thing is truly paranormal. What's going on? Kerfus? Oh, oh my god! What, what, what was that? Ah! Uh. Where's my crowbar? Is it dead? I... What? Is that what did I ha did I leave the rifle in here somewhere? Oh come on, I know I left the rifle here somewhere. Hey, you're interactable. You're one of these things. What? I okay, okay, okay. You guys were part of what well, you you guys as in the audience told me was a prank. And it's still a prank. Oh my god, okay, okay, I, I see what happened here. I see what happened here. So in the original, your, your co-workers could, as a prank, leave a gaggle of these guys in front of your door in the middle of the night. This time, they left a catapult. Don't ask me how they got in here. They dragged all this out here during a rainstorm to... I'll be honest, I would love friends like this. <laughs> Oh, you got me, guys. You got me so good. All right, let's... Uh, uh, uh. I don't even want to dismantle this thing. Let's pull it off to the side. I wonder if we can use it for anything. Look, it's got physics and everything on individual components. That is so cool. <laughs> okay, this... I don't want you to scare Kerfus when they wake up, but we'll find a place for you. Oh, I, I know what we can do with you. <laughs> you know, we do have a job opening. And I do like my friends around here to scare me as well as anything that may enter. Why don't you take Melvin's old position? <laughs> I think Kerfus approves of the idea or wants the job themselves. <laughs> Just lean you right there. Got to find just the right spot. And I th think you're good. 
All right, let's go, Kerfus. Oh, that is going to be so horrifying to observe from the other side, isn't it? There you are, look. You're even, like, sort of reaching through a little bit with your shadow. We like to have fun around here. <laughs> no, we really do. Anyway, Kerfus, uh, would you like to see your new, your new rest area? Look, there's even some outlets there so you can charge. In the previous season, we had to leave you for so, so long in the garage bay. Well, that's not going to be the case anymore. Just, oh man, you're going to knock this thing all over the place, aren't you? Well, no matter. This place is starting to look a bit cozier already, but I'm already thinking of ways we can make it better. Oop, this is done. Hang on, let's just drop that in. So many exciting signals for the day. But it is good to... Well, to, to get to enjoy some actual comfort now, it's not just a spooky, scary sleepover anymore. This house is actually starting to feel a bit more like a home, don't you think? But we've got something to listen to. Simple and scary. <laughs> the most basic form of signal. I mean, they're all scary, it just depends on why. And look, we've already got twice as many drives as we need with another one on the way. Two on the way, actually. Oh, here comes the thunder and the lightning. Got anything on thermals? Not that I can see. One of you told me that the reason this thing might have lost its uh, its angles when it was on top of the base could be because uh, when you load a save, it can sometimes tend to adjust the position that it's attached at. It's a bit of a white line down there. That might just be one of those concrete posts, perhaps? Ah, you're finished. Oh, that was actually really fast. Alright, settle down, you. Another picture is coming through! That looks like celestial bodies. Maybe a moon in front of a planet as they pass in front of the sun? And that actually looks like it might be scrambled text. Although, the computer itself doesn't seem able to read it either. We can just leave this security tag right here, since I don't think it's going to work anywhere now. Uh, so it only makes sense that it stay with our security guard. I'm not sure what to name you. I'm kind of going back and forth between Zim, because you invaded my space and Edgar after the Marilyn Manson alien from the Area 51 PS2 game, which I still, I kind of want to play that on this channel one day. That's a game that I really wanted as a kid, and I have still to this day never played. I remember playing the demo on one of those uh, PlayStation discs, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It seemed pretty ahead of its time. You know, on the one hand, when I get jump scared, it might seem, you know, like, a, a bad thing in the sense that I'm getting scared. But also, like, as a horror YouTuber, and I've talked about this sometimes before, there is a part of my mind that's just been trained for it to feel like less of a blow, just because there's a part of me that's going, yes, this is good content. <laughs> I guess it sort of has like a limiting effect where it doesn't affect me for too much longer after it happens. What does affect me is every single time I round the corner and see that there. That's going to take some getting used to. Oh, you're done. Man, we, we average like a million crazy things a night, don't we? White Dwarf.
Uh, the dwarves are practicing their beatboxing. I'm sure they'll get there. Long way to go, though. This download is actually going... Oh, wow. Hang on. Wait. You're losing... You're losing... Output very, very quickly for rain. Like, ridiculously quickly. Actually... Everything seems to be really, really low. Like, this this is extremely slow. Why? Uh, it's it's 7 a.m., but we need to do... We need to do a ping. November is down. Not a lot of guys down. So I don't know why it's so slow. I wonder if the rain doesn't actually... Cause it more? Okay, well, you... Uh, okay, so 1 minus 7 is negative 6. 7 minus 9 is negative 2. Uh, 1, 13, 10, 7, uh, 1, and 5. But yeah, it's not like there's a lot of things down. Why are you so slow? Wow, it is actually... Hmm... I mean, I know it's only 7 a.m., but normally we should be seeing some sort of light by now, shouldn't we? The only light we have is what we make for ourselves right now. How are the Transformers doing? Uh, TR1 is not doing so hot. This place is gradually getting a lot more comforting, but... Uh, and you're back as soon as we turn our back. I'm actually... Based on what happened the other night, I'm sort of convinced that it only happens when unobserved. But maybe not. Whatever, 715 both ends. We should check it. That needs to become our ritual. You're going a bit faster now, I suppose. All right, maybe we'll go out now. Uh, so what are we looking for from today? We're looking for Echo, Delta, and Golf. That's all in the same area. So we'll head to November 1st, then Echo and follow the line down. Going out in the dark in the rain can be nerve-wracking for sure, but since it's getting a little lighter, it's at least not so bad. Actually, it seems the rain is... Oh, never mind. I thought it was letting up because I couldn't see it, but you look to the sky and there it is. But it's so weird. Right now, I feel like I don't even need my headlights. Very wide range of atmospheric conditions today, or at least in this play session. Some of you have been asking me to go through this big log in the woods. There's actually several big logs in the woods, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. And in fact, I've been through this one several times. I've also been through, like, a more angled one up in the other direction. I don't know why you keep asking me to do this. I promise you I'll try it every time I come across them. Unless there's something I'm supposed to maybe do in them. And maybe if I'm inside one at 333. Whenever you think to try something, you always have to... Add the 333 variable. Which reminds me, there's a lot more science to be done in that regard. We've hardly seen any of those events. Here we are. God, I just, Look at this. This game recreates certain lighting conditions that I find so creepy and comfy. And it's just so specific, I have no idea how it's even possible in a game, but here we are. I mean, look, having the glow from this diffusing over the fog and the rain on, uh, on a morning like this? That's really special. Tell you what else is really special. Uh -huh. Meatwad was here in previous versions, but I had actually totally forgotten about it. What we do with it, I have no idea, but you'll notice it likes to paint the town red. What is it? What left it here? Let's never find out. Seriously, in the entirety of the last seasons, I never found out, so if you have any ideas for me, well, I'd love to hear them. God, this game is gorgeous in so many different ways. Maybe I shouldn't be standing on top of this tower during a lightning storm. Maybe I shouldn't be visiting four different towers during a lightning storm. 
Also, because I've been keeping this thing inside all night, and because the weather's been so crap, it hasn't really been recharging much. But the sun has got to come out sometime. And just in time, if I have anything to say about it. There's our broken server. You know what I should do? Just because I have a sneaking suspicion, I mean, I've always noted that the soil around Foxtrot seems a little barren, a little dead. Maybe I should bring the metal detector and a shovel around there? But this will be all of our servers for today. One repaired, three hashed. I think we're gonna have a little midday nap. First, let's drag this thing right on out here. Yep. And there we go. I hope I'm not just offering this up to the enemy, but maybe it'll keep them away if they know I have a catapult. Hang on, wait. I, I'm hatching an idea. Does that catapult still function, perhaps? I wonder. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it does, unless there's a specific spot I have to look to trigger it. That'd be pretty cool if we could use it on demand. Maybe there's a way to do it. Maybe you guys can fill me in. But in the meantime, I really need a cup of coffee and a nap. Which normally you don't do those things together, but you get the idea. Some pizza will also be helpful. Actually, what are we doing? Let's move that to the coffee table. This, yeah, this is starting to be my place. Um, num. Numb. Oh wow, wait, I actually might have screwed myself a little bit there. I can't, I can't drink the coffee because I'm too full. Oh hey, we can actually see the enemy encroaching on our territory. Alright, well waking up at 2 p.m., that's actually quite commonplace for me these days. Point is, what are we going to do about it? They don't seem deterred by our new catapult system, which I've still yet to determine how it actually works. We still can't have coffee. We're still full. Yeah, you better be doing a good job of keeping those guys out, bud. Oh, I'm doing a bad job of keeping these guys out. It's a good thing they didn't get too close. It's a good thing sleeping somehow counts as observed. All right, well, you know how it is. Bad mannequins go in the river when they get too close. I just wish I had a catapult for getting you there. I just find it so endlessly funny that they immediately start trying to stand up and get out as soon as you throw them in. It's got to be so frustrating for them, and I love it. No what? That's supposed to be... I cannot make heads or tails of what that's supposed to be. Uh, oh, but I've actually completely forgotten that I should be stashing you outside, and now, now the day is mostly through. There we go. You're at least charging a decent amount. All right, wake up, Kerfus. We're actually going on a little field trip. Yep, there you are. Please don't wreck up the area. We are going to go on a little field trip. I have inputted Foxtrot as our destination. And I would like to go see uh, if we can dig anything up. Uh, this is probably only the second time I've been out here while those great behemoths are moving. And if you're close enough while it's happening, it is actually really quite loud. I, I can't believe it wasn't until this series that I actually got the opportunity to hear it. And the reason it's so noticeable is because, like, every time it happens, you're just kind of left kind of dumbstruck. You're just walking through the woods, and it's like the whole thing is groaning to life. I mean, imagine what this must be like for hikers who haven't yet seen what this is. Right. I'm actually not picking anything up here. Which is why it's so strange. So strange that all this is like this? Oh, is it just you that I'm picking up? Well, they can name me not. Okay, from what I understand, white means you're right on top of it. And it's just metal scrap. 
which don't get me wrong, we can certainly use it. Yep. Come on now. And it's a rock. There's always, there's always room for rocks. Uh, thank you for stopping that from rolling down hill. Again, not quite sure about the geology of what just happened. Look at you following me. I figured while I'm out here by Foxtrot, I might as well extend this trip to fixing this last transformer for the day. I've already hit the other two. And it's always better to deal with these things before they're an emergency. Actually, come to think of it, even though we didn't find anything at Foxtrot, maybe while we're here we could try looking for stuff at that weird cabin where we found the deer skull? Should be right down this path. You know, it, it never fails to creep me out just where they decide to put these lone light posts. I swear I just heard something faintly from the woods over there. I'm actually picking up Absolutely nothing here. I think but the way this works, even if I were inside, I don't think it would make a difference. Alright, Kerfus. Oh, it was never locked. Well, that's a problem. There could be mannequins inside. Can you get up here? No, you can't. Look at you staring at me longingly. Alright, this way you... Absolutely bonk your head as well. I saw a screenshot somebody posted in the Discord of, like, setting up a whole uh, comfy area right here. With that mural in the background, that could actually be a really cool thing to do. But before this episode is over, I want to import some stuff so we can actually make use of these pictures. Ah! Kerfess! Okay, yeah, no, this... <laughs> this is not gonna work out. You are a bull in a china shop, you know that? I mean, I love you, but you really need to control your excitement. You've still got... Quite a while to go, I think, until... Yeah, until that nest should go. About another hour or so, so we'll definitely want to be ready for that. Uh, but as for you, if I can't trust you to keep this stuff intact, well, I can at least allow you to charge here. We've got something else to listen to. By my count, should be about half an hour or so until all this happens. Until something tries to sneak out of there. But until then, I am not taking my eyes off. Seven o'clock. We have to be... We have to be diligent. Everything is processing automatically. We've got one downloading. We have no reason to look away. Our food and our sleep are good. Just gotta watch this like a hawk. I almost can't believe this show even existed in 2000. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's when it premiered. But yeah, I'm gonna let it get to 8.15. And if nothing happens, then I really don't know. M maybe there's a little bit of variation on it, but this has got to be among the more obvious places in the game to place a camera. I, I really am starting to think it just will not change when observed, although <laughs> I certainly saw something the other night. Or maybe it's when there's light on it. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when unobserved at this time. Still there? Perhaps if we... Perhaps if we leave the room. I think we might have even just seen it go away. I'm not sure, but I, I think that's definitely the case. So I feel a little less bad now. We are going to start sending this stuff out, and I am going to attempt, since this is... Pretty much the last day, I think. Uh, day 19, so there's still one more day left. We're gonna fill the box. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these things. We can probably get another one in there. Let's just make sure we oops, bring in the ATV. 
which should now be more or less fully charged. Yep. We got, we got uh, roaches crawling all over our MREs, but I don't super care about that. Yep. Fuel only got up to 77%. I mean, that's certainly something, but man, you'd hope for 100. Yeah, this place, my intention is for this to be almost as if the lights were on, just so much moodier by the time all this is completed. I'm just waiting for this to finish processing. In the meantime, I would like to get some barriers. These things might as well be useful in some way, right? Come on, you. They're a pain to get through doors, because they're pretty much the size of doors. Remember them correctly? Yep. We can make it so that it's kind of its own thing. Do these block light? I'm not sure if they do or not. Oh, this is going to be such, like, anti kerfus fuel. I mean, it is really not going to play nice with this. There we go. And let's just give you a very fast listen. We don't actually have a ton of time to send you out. I waited so long. Zeus, can you please try a little harder not to blow on the mic? All right, so now that's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight level three signals. If we don't get this employee bonus, I am going to be so friggin' angry. That is going to be proof that it's completely arbitrary. Oh, hey, here's one of these things. We'll have to remember to take that out later, but... Oh, come on. It's always in the worst possible moments when this happens. All right, got to rush now. Got to really rush. You know what I'm wondering, and this is just like maybe my Minecraft brain? I wonder if it's actually possible to come up with some way to survive jumping off of this tower. Like, maybe landing in the river would do it? I'm honestly not sure. Hey guys, you always seem to hang out in that corner there. We need this coming in yesterday. Alright, we should be okay, I think. The drone has already come and gone. Mathematically, it should make it, because it came in less than an hour, and it's got more than an hour to get back. There we go, and that is quite a big payout indeed, like I was hoping. Uh, that's something. Very interesting. Uh, gotta release the papers as soon as possible. Well done. And 230 points for the package. And, uh, man, that is not a lot for the other stuff. But, whatever. Let's get ourselves a couple of couches. Uh, that thing absolutely fills the cart. Alright, we'll settle for one for now. Uh, is there anything else we want while we're at this? So, I'm gonna get a red glow stick. I have an idea. And this might work better with a white one, but the white one is my safety glow stick right now, and I'm trying to get a nice... not a complete set, but at least a good variety. Meanwhile, we are only moments away from receiving our midnight email. There we are. Daily task, Quebec Victor Romeo. And we only need two level three signals, which we will easily have. Drone has dropped off our massive couch, uh, and yet it can only carry one item box. Oh my, you're actually going to be a bit of a hassle to get out of here, aren't you? Oh, if only Curvis could help with moving furniture. Hmm, wait, maybe the... Maybe the hook will fare a bit better? Let's try it. And nope. Ugh. Actually, that's substantially worse. Ugh. You're also kind of wedged. Well, that's you out of there, so that should make things up a bit easier for now. 
Yep. When you get caught on something, there is friction. So that's what makes doors dangerous. Ugh. There we go. Well, this has been kind of awful. But also worth it, I guess, now that this is all set up, right? I mean, we have achieved our desired result. Creepy and comfy. Um. And I will recycle that later, but yeah. I mean, it's slowly but surely coming together. Very slowly in the case of this couch. I suppose we actually might as well uh, completely upgrade our processing speed. I mean, there's really no reason not to. Download speed never really finishes before uh, the detector finishes, but I don't know... I'm actually not sure if any of these affect that. I, I can check the help menu. It, it gives you basically the full rundown on everything. But there's a couple other things I want to do before then. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out, like, the formatting for these paintings, where the files have to be placed, finding out they have to be PNG. And we've got a couple of artworks on the wall now, and looking pretty good and appropriate. Still yet to discern what this actually does. I mean, if we... Maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now, but if we were to try and place a drive in that port, what would actually happen? Yep. Or no, maybe it maybe it wipes them. In any case, I am becoming sick and tired of all the cowering. We are nearing our third week on the job. And I don't know, I feel like I I feel like more things are coming to me, but I'm not going to them. So, I'm just trying to work out how to become more proactive. I think in some way sprucing up my base is part of that, you know? Makes it feel like it's mine, something they can't touch, but even our co-workers can get in. I still have no idea how they let themselves in through the garage. And without me hearing? Then again, the kind of pranks scientists get up to must be absolutely godlike. Yep, 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 yep! <sighs> Thank you for stopping them at the door. This is what happens when I leave it unlocked. Out you. Just throw you out of here like jazz on the Fresh Prince. Oh, don't you try and use your telepathic powers to stop me. And stay out. We are looking for Quebec Victor Romeo. Which is actually a bit of a globe trot. I think we'll start with Victor. And we'll use that as an opportunity to bring that tile piece. Did I take it into my inventory? I'm just assuming that the opposite 715 is going to behave similarly, right? I mean, I can't imagine it would withhold that during the night and then give it to me during the morning, but there was that one time when we saw that thing. And I don't know... I, I don't remember what time it was. I'll have to check. I just don't know if we'll ever get the opportunity again, because I don't know if it withholds things for when you happen to look at the camera, because that was very serendipitous. But, uh, God, I hope I'm using that word correctly. 7.15. And I see absolutely nothing here. Oh, wait. Nope, there it is. There, there, hmm. It was actually all the way zoomed out. I mean, I have no idea if it was there from the beginning. Wow. All right, well, I have... I've had enough of the threshold, kids. Let's drop this in and give it a listen. Oh, no, that's an asteroid. The object is the one that we've yet to process up. Okay, so that'll give us something to look forward to. Hello? 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 
here already? Actually, oh. Uh, this seems to be working much, much differently than it did before. Hovering craft. Right here, and... They've set up a much more permanent camp than just... Than just a, a picnic. Okay, now, uh, look, I can't pretend I don't know what things are. I encountered this in the last part, only last time the arrival of this was announced when I saw smoke in the distance. Smoke that turned out to be coming from a campfire. Here, I've never seen any such thing, even though I have been looking out for it. And, oh my... And here we find this fully completed, where before, every day we would come here and see a little bit more progress. What is all this stuff? I mean, these couches sure do look comfy, and... Oh, well, it doesn't look like we have the ability to sit on them. What is this? Ow. Ugh. It gives us a little jolt every time we try to pick them up. Well, look. I'm gonna... I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Oh, no, a save. So you guys have told me that these beings, the ones that I, I know are the ones from the picnic area, and I know are the ones that graffitied up my house, they have a reputation system now. And they don't like it when you steal stuff. They already didn't like it when you stole stuff. But now you can actually win their favor. So I've been carrying this stuff around with me all this time. I'm going to try and do just that. They like shrimp. So I'm going to leave them some and hope that we can establish some sort of good grace. I assume they come in peace because they're here and I'm still alive. So maybe we should as well. Uh, nothing in this case. I'm not going to take it for now. I'll wait to hear your advice on that. But in the meantime, I'm getting the heck out of here. We've got to go to Victor. We've still got to do our chores. But man, after all these dramatic events, after all this terror, after all this frustration and not being able to capture anything, in the end, it's just as friendly of an interaction as meeting up with an old couple in the park, just coming across them while on the trail and having them wave to you and offer a sandwich from their picnic basket. The drone. Why is it that I'm always in this direction when it decides to pay an impromptu visit? Okay, well, this might actually require our urgent attention, but... <laughs> Absolute jitters from a discovery like this. We're here. It's happening. And for all we know, it could have been there for a while. There was no smoke. Oh, and Victor is also down. How convenient. I think I've talked about this before, but, you know, just seeing those craft... Just, like, like kind of camping in the middle of this forest. I find that so weirdly, like, cute and awesome. Like, I've always loved the idea, when it comes to aliens, of, like, they came to party. But of course, we must never allow ourselves to grow too complacent. After all, what we're learning is that the universe is a big place... And just as we're finding out that we're not alone, maybe they're not alone either. And maybe we should consider what it is they're doing here. So that's a second tile for this thing. And I'm not sure if they each go in a particular place, but uh, this one has sort of a red backing. I'll have to keep an eye out for more of those. Oh, you know what? We should totally set up a camera there. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if they'll like that. There may be more to this reputation system than simply stealing or leaving stuff, but I kind of feel like I have to at least try it. I have to be able to monitor it. Uh, we left our camera, our disposable camera is over by Oscar. We should go get it. Okay, maybe we should consider that something could be 
Oh no, I was gonna say something could be buried here, but there's a note. Day 14. Is this thing infinite? I don't know. It keeps going down and down and down. We have no rope already. At least these yellow metal walls have ridges on them so you don't have to climb on dry concrete walls. We don't give up. We're going down for answers. Okay, we really, really need to make a note of where this is. I need to buy some beacons this is what I need to do. Now that we're back here, uh, what were we left? A whole lot of croissants, it looks like. Ooh. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, these are good, good food. Hang on, let's read our note. Hey there, my little mech. How's the crippling darkness? Just wanted to let you know I did some baking over the weekend, and I know you'll be sick of those probably decade-old MREs. You'll appreciate some genuine French cuisine made by a professional such as myself. <laughs> anyway, croissants. For you. Raspberry drizzle. Enjoy. And don't, like, starve to death or anything, okay? I still miss you. Love and aura. Oh, so maybe we actually are, like, officially a thing. This place is starting to look pretty cozy by daylight as well, so that's always a good sign. Uh, but we do need to head on out down the road towards... Oh, no. Another reminder that we really need to purchase not just beacons, but the, uh, the, the, the digital map. My god, that actually put me in a g g g g ghost state. Security is nice, but that thing is the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? That thing is the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? What is this? They have like a whole contraption here. What is this, Gary's mod? Okay, you, you come with me. Wait, what? I actually can't move you. Oh, you're all one big thing. Huh, how long have you been sat here? Uh, looks like you lost a wheel. And the Joker no doubt got away. All right, well, <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind having you as like an ornament in front of the base. You know how like air bases will leave a jet up on a pole? This is so, <laughs> it's good branding. And I guess I should probably give up on the dream of making myself look sane. I had pictures of spaceships, what do I care? Actually, I should probably start thinking about, like, cloud storage or something, shouldn't I? I mean, in the event of any kind of electromagnetic event, all this storage is getting wiped. There's our ferry ring, which means there is our camera. Be very careful not to drive over this. I realize now that these are basically landmines. Uh, let's collect you. No, come on. Grab you. And collect. And let's go spine some alien cat girls. I mean, like, in a not creepy way. Your uniform. And actually, surprisingly, a whole lot of you are still here. Although, huh, at least three of you have left behind your stands. Four. And notably, no one's keeping watch anymore. Meaning the one that we placed that way is actually, is actually one of the ones that's been bothering us. <laughs> Five. Now the question is, where do we place this thing? Do we watch the hut itself? Do we watch the ships? Maybe we can find some way to do both? Perhaps if we were to angle it through this window, mm, I don't know if that's really gonna work out. This would probably be a good way to go. Maybe they don't like me spending too much time here either. Hang on. Uh, please let me, no, please let me pick up the camera. Which way? How about right up there? How about right up here-ish? God, I feel like such a creep, but this way, 
this way I figure, and maybe if we move it just a little more here, we can monitor this path and whatever's in the house. I mean, it always has a much wider field of view than I think. Maybe I should get a second camera out here, I don't know. So much of my interactions with this place, I am going to leave up to you. Because, I mean, this is first contact, right? Or at least presumably first contact. Maybe our co-workers had a different experience. By the way, you made it very clear that we need to be careful about how we handle this. Very careful. The importance cannot be lost on us. But I'm very excited. You are still here, so at least I can trust that you haven't come to life as well. You know, things have gone really bad when you have the one mannequin who you say, you know, I like you, you're not haunted like the other mannequins. Oh, but we have another one ready to oh, almost do. And let's have a look at that new camera. Wait, camera disabled? What do you mean camera disabled? I explicitly activated it. Will it just not work in that area? What is what is the deal with that? I know for a fact like that thing was blue. I even went back and double checked before I drove away. I'm going to have another croissant about it. And these things are delicious. That object is now done processing. Let's give her a listen. Why do I get the impression that something like that works like sonar? Like it's probing and always getting closer. And we have the ability to send this stuff out now and I think we will. There's another mystery drive out here. This one totally blank. There we go. Oh, that was so satisfying. Bam. Oh, how have I never tried that before? But right now, I want to figure out why my camera isn't working. Oh, there's the drone picking up our job for the day. And I'm sending it out with the bare minimum. It's only two level three signals and the reports. Well, here we are. And we can see that lighting device on in there. Maybe I'll snap a couple of more picture roonies. Maybe they don't like that either. Maybe with better reputation. But... Uh, just, what are we... It's gone! They just straight up removed the camera. Uh, who knows, maybe it's lying in a field somewhere, or maybe... Maybe they've just taken it from me. Tell you what is gone, though. The shrimp is also missing. So, does that work out to an overall positive? One camera for two shrimp? Plus they get to keep the camera. Oh man, things are about to get so much stranger here, aren't they? And I, I can't wait. Look, you guys love it. And even though these take a long time to make, I mean, I'm sitting at 4 hours 15 minutes record time right now. I want to start getting these things out more quickly. I am as excited as you are. Whoa, look at that. I don't know if it's just the way the darkness is interacting, but it's like uh, the whole valley is engulfed in fog. That was a really weird visual for a moment. Oh, wow. Huh, I don't know where I ended up, but I am at a much higher altitude than I thought I was. Oop. Take your advice, let us roll down the hill. One of you actually talked about how great that is for saving fuel. We're not gonna get any until tomorrow at this rate. Before we get in there, let's swing around and have a look at our new lawn ornament. There we are. 
Oh, that is so neat. The way the light just, like, casts a glow over that tree. I, I just love, and it's been so prevalent in this episode, how the park, and especially your base, change over time. And it's not because it changes on a scripted schedule. I mean, some of it does. But for the most part, all of it is just a reflection of your collective experiences and what you made of them. I mean, it really is just a visual representation of everything that's great about this game and why I love it so much. But I think we've had enough excitement for now. I have been recording for quite a long time. I want to get these out quicker. And now with, uh, with my trusty companion... Oh, hang on, let me uh, untoggle that for you. I feel ready to take on the world. Let's just... Oh, you're going to totally wreck this thing coming out of here. Actually, a fairly minimal amount of damage compared to what I was expecting. Yeah, let's just try and keep the danger to a minimum, shall we? But it seems we've got one more... One more signal to listen to, and then we can call it a day. It's almost like they're starting to send images through waveforms now. And now, every time I hear something, I'm going to have to ask myself the question, is what made that sound, is that what's sitting right out there? In any case, Dr. Enna seems to like it, and is continuing to flirt with me in, in, in these job reports. But we are doing good, we've got a lot of cash. And hopefully we can get those good boy points. I'm not sure if we get those at midnight or a little bit later. One more day. I really need another cup of coffee and some sleep. Just everything is going so absolutely crazy. And, you know, Kerfus, I think I'm actually going to need you to kind of, I don't know, keep me company while I sleep. Oh, wait, is your is your thing toggled? It should have been untoggled. Uh, maybe that's the reason you're not as much of a bull in a china shop as usual. But I will admit, I do feel a bit better having you around. Even if you are a bit of a nuisance at times, you're my nuisance. Kerfus, are you opening and closing the door while I'm trying to sleep? Oh my god, Kerfus! Kerfus, what did you just do? And now you're stuck in a trash pile. Oh, wow. You're like, I'm okay, because you landed safely in there. It broke your fall. Oh, there's always got to be some big event to close out an episode. Oh, wow. I'm actually getting major lags right now. Uh, maybe that's the sign that it's time to end this. Is it because you're getting stuck, perhaps? Because it's trying to, like, refigure out your pathfinding? There you are. You tried to scare me a little bit. All right, let's go. Come on in. Yeah, that does seem to have fixed it. Ugh, confound this cat. It drives me to drink. <laughs> you want a piece of my croissant? <laughs> well, you're a robot and you don't eat, but how about I have some pats instead? I think this is going to be a really, really packed episode. Uh, they've really all been... I just can't believe how much content is in this game, how fresh it's able to be, even though I've technically done a run before. It's all just managing to be so new every time. Oh, right. <laughs> we can actually use Kerfus as a camera when they're activated. I, I really wish you would act like you did before and just kind of like sit patiently behind me while I'm sitting. I think, you know what, it's probably about time to... Uh, put you to bed again. There we go. But yeah, it has now been, that other camera has been officially removed from the list. It does not exist anymore. Well, that's a bit annoying, but I guess it serves to show who we're dealing with. It is midnight, day 21. And it looks like 
We were delivered our good boy points. Dr. Kell, your performance has been quite pleasant this week. 500 bonus points have been sent to your account balance as a reward. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.